cracking a 60-year mystery in months. What if I told you that AI has just solved one of the hardest problems in science? A problem so massive that scientists spent 60 years trying to crack it, only for AI to do it in mere months. But this isn't about AI writing emails, making chatbots, or generating funny pictures. This is about life itself. Because AI recently figured out how proteins fold, a discovery that changes everything, from curing diseases to fighting climate change, and even breaking down plastic waste. This one breakthrough could reshape the entire world. And here's how it happened. Inside every living thing, tiny molecular machines called proteins control everything. Your muscles, your brain, even how you digest food. Think of them as the Lego blocks of life. But instead of snapping together in a straight line, they twist and fold into ridiculously complex shapes that determine their function. The problem is, if a protein folds incorrectly, it doesn't work. And that's how diseases like Alzheimer's, cancer, and even COVID-19 wreak havoc in the body. Back in 1958, scientists were so desperate to study proteins that they literally needed whale hearts just to extract enough material for research. Using a painstaking method called X-ray crystallography, they'd blast proteins with X-rays and attempt to reconstruct their shapes from the scattered patterns. An incredibly slow, tedious process. It took 12 years to determine the structure of just one protein, and when they finally saw it, the twisted, bizarre shape looked like a space turd. Yet, despite all that work, scientists had only mapped out a tiny fraction of the proteins in existence. So, they started wondering, what if instead of going through this grueling process, we could just predict how proteins fold? Turns out, this was one of the hardest problems in all of biology. Even a short protein can fold in more possible ways than there are atoms in the universe, making it impossible for any conventional computer to brute force the answer. And for decades, no one could figure out how to crack it, until AI entered the game. In 1994, scientists launched a competition called CASP, designed to test whether computers could predict protein structures. The early frontrunner was Rosetta, an algorithm created by scientist David Baker, which used thousands of home computers to crunch the data. But then, something unexpected happened. A group of video gamers playing a puzzle game called Fold It actually beat the AI at solving protein structures. In just three weeks, they deciphered an AIDS-like virus enzyme that had stumped scientists for years, proving that human intuition could sometimes outperform raw computing power. And among those gamers was a name that would later change AI forever, a child chess prodigy named Demis Hassabis. Years later, Hassabis founded an AI company called DeepMind, and in 2016, his AI AlphaGo shocked the world by defeating the greatest human Go player. He didn't stop there. DeepMind's next AI, AlphaZero, went even further, crushing Stockfish, the world's most powerful chess engine, in a 100-game match. But while those victories were impressive, Hasabi's had an even bigger goal in mind. To create an AI that could solve protein folding once and for all. DeepMind developed AlphaFold, training it on millions of known protein structures. By 2018, it had already broken records at CASP, but it still wasn't perfect. So, they built AlphaFold 2, and in 2020, it cracked the problem wide open, achieving what scientists had struggled to do for decades. This AI wasn't just good, it was revolutionary. AlphaFold 2 predicted protein structures with near-perfect accuracy and mapped out 200 million proteins in just months, essentially solving every known protein structure in nature. Scientists who once spent years deciphering a single protein now had decades of research handed to them overnight. So, what can AlphaFold actually do? Well, for starters, it's already helping develop malaria vaccines and revealing how diseases like cancer and schizophrenia function at a molecular level. It's also tackling antibiotic resistance, which could help doctors create better treatments for superbugs. And on the environmental side, scientists are using it to design enzymes that break down plastic waste and capture methane from the atmosphere, potentially reversing some of the worst effects of climate change. And that's just the beginning. While AlphaFold predicts proteins, David Baker's lab has done something even crazier. They've started designing entirely new proteins from scratch. Using AI similar to DAL-E, they can generate custom proteins for medicine, materials, and even synthetic antivenom. For example, instead of relying on traditional snake-derived antivenom, scientists can now design human-compatible versions in a lab, making treatments safer and more effective. And with AI moving at this speed, what used to take years of lab experiments can now be done in just days. But this is just the start of what AI can do for science. DeepMind's latest AI, GNOME, recently discovered 2.2 million new crystals, including 400,000 stable materials that could revolutionize everything from batteries to superconductors to futuristic materials we haven't even dreamed of yet. This is why the 2024 Nobel Prize in Chemistry 
was awarded for breakthroughs in protein science. And that's why this might be the most important thing AI has ever done. Curing diseases, creating futuristic materials, fixing the environment. The only question left is, what's next? Shattering the language barriers. Let's say you wake up in a world where language barriers no longer exist, where a tourist in China can order food without pointing at pictures, and where a child in rural Africa can access any textbook in their native language. This isn't science fiction. AI has made this possible, and therefore is the second most useful thing on the list of what AI has ever done. Every single day, AI-powered translation processes over 100 billion words, breaking down walls that have divided humanity for centuries. And it all started with a very crude, very broken system. Back in 2006, Google launched Google Translate using something called Statistical Machine Translation, SMT. It wasn't great. It didn't understand meaning, context, or even basic grammar. Instead, it would break a sentence into fragments, translate each piece separately, and then stitch everything back together, like a broken puzzle. It worked, but the results? Robotic, clunky, and often hilarious. Still, it was innovative for its time. By 2013, Google Translate had 200 million daily users, but it had a major flaw. It relied on English as an intermediary language. This meant translating from Chinese to Spanish often involved going through English first, creating extra errors and distortion. Then, in 2016, everything changed when Neural Machine Translation, NMT, arrived. Instead of chopping up sentences into tiny fragments, AI now analyzed entire sentences understanding context, structure, and even nuance. The difference was night and day. French and German saw fluency improvements of up to 60% overnight. Microsoft quickly followed, integrating neural models into Skype, allowing real-time translation in live conversations. By 2024, AI had transformed spoken language translation. Google's Palm 2 AI added support for 110 new languages, including Cantonese and Crimean Tatar. Meanwhile, Microsoft developed a multi-speaker translation system, allowing up to nine people to speak different languages at the same time while reading synchronized transcripts. It even supports Klingon for those diehard Star Trek fans. But here's where things get crazy. AI is no longer limited to just text. It's bridging the gap between spoken language, visual translation, and even sign language. Early translation devices required typing out words manually, but today, AI can hear your voice and instantly translate it with almost human-like accuracy. In 2024, Microsoft demonstrated an AI-powered tool that allowed people speaking French, English, and German to hold a conversation while Chinese subtitles appeared in real time. And in case you're wondering if AI translation is perfect, well, it's not. Back in 2018, Norway's Olympic team accidentally ordered 15,000 eggs instead of 1,500 thanks to a Google Translate error. Ford once ran an ad campaign in Belgium boasting about their high-quality body, except AI translated it to high-quality dead body. So yeah, AI still struggles with idioms, slang, and cultural context, but that hasn't stopped it from transforming communication. Imagine a world where every piece of knowledge, every book, every research paper, every video, is instantly accessible in every language. That's exactly what's happening. YouTube now auto-translates captions into over 80 languages, while Wikipedia uses AI to expand content in underrepresented languages. Language has always been one of the greatest dividers of humanity, but AI is proving that it doesn't have to be. Machines that think. There's a world where cars drive themselves, robots build everything from smartphones to skyscrapers, and drones deliver life-saving medicine to the most remote corners of the planet. That reality, what seemed impossible yesterday, is already here today. From factory floors to open roads, AI-powered autonomous systems are transforming human labor, transportation, and even the way cities function. But this revolution didn't happen overnight. It's the result of a century of trial, error, and groundbreaking innovations. It all started in 1925, when a Chandler sedan was driven through the streets of Manhattan without a driver. Steered by radio pulses, this was one of the first experiments in self-driving technology. It was basic, it was unpredictable, but it was the first glimpse of what was to come. By the 1950s, companies like General Motors envisioned highways where electromagnetic roads would guide cars automatically. Of course, that didn't happen. Instead, AI-powered autonomy had to be built from the ground up. Fast forward to the 1980s, and the first real breakthroughs in autonomous navigation arrived. Mercedes-Benz's Eureka van used computer vision to drive at 63 kilometers per hour, a prototype of today's modern self-driving systems. But nothing accelerated the field faster than the DARPA Grand Challenge in 2004. 
The first race was a disaster. Not a single vehicle finished. But by 2005, Stanford University's AI-powered Volkswagen Touareg, Stanley, completed the entire 240-kilometer course, marking the birth of true autonomous decision-making. This changed everything, and in 2015, Tesla introduced Autopilot, bringing driver-assist AI to millions of consumers. But progress wasn't without controversy. After a 2016 fatal crash, the world realized self-driving AI wasn't perfect yet. Meanwhile, Google's Waymo quietly logged millions of kilometers, and by 2017, its fleet had racked up 8 million kilometers without human intervention. Today, Waymo operates fully autonomous taxis in cities like Phoenix and San Francisco, handling over a million paid rides a month. AI-powered autonomy isn't just limited to cars. In factories, collaborative robots, cobots, like ABB's Yumi, work alongside humans, while Amazon Robotics deploys mobile drive units that sort and move approximately 1.5 million packages every day. But for all its promise, AI autonomy isn't perfect. A practical example of which happened in 2023. GM had to recall 80,000 autonomous vehicles after hackers demonstrated that LiDAR sensors could be tricked. Let's not forget the ethical dilemma. If an AI-driven car has to choose between hitting a pedestrian or crashing and injuring its passengers, what should it do? Now, the final frontier of autonomy is here. Humanoid robots, which perform 22 tasks per hour, with 99.4% precision in BMW assembly lines. We've come a long way from that radio-controlled sedan in 1925. But as AI systems become more capable, more independent, and more human-like, the million-dollar question for me and for you isn't technological, it's philosophical. Are we ready to coexist with intelligent machines?